You can breathalyze me if you like. Tax <laughs> disc is all up to date. You'll see that. Oh, sorry, no, it's on its way back from Swansea. <laughs> Probably taking the pretty route. <laughs> Drug Spangle? What are you doing, sir? Doing? Sorry, what, what was With it? the plastic bags. Oh, oh, uh, but the, I've been, um, I was doing a little bit of a, a workout with, with a, a bit of weightlifting, <laughs> bodybuilding. Bodybuilder, are we, sir? Uh, Bodybuilder, yes. <laughs> Got a long way to go, haven't we, sir? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very good. Yes. Well, well, I better be going uh, home now. I've got some more press-ups to do. Uh, ten minutes punching the old bag. <laughs> she loves it, you know. Don't try chucking your bags here again, sir. Uh, me? While the strike is on, kind of retain your rubbish. These bags could constitute provocation to the pickets. You just take them home where they belong. Home? Mother will go balmy. And those, if you don't mind. Oh, no, those aren't mine. Those mine are the black ones. I mean, those are pink ones. Uh, I mean, do I look the sort of chap who'd have pink rubbish bags? Yes. Oh, fair enough. There you are. Timmy. <laughs> You've been a long time. Yeah. I, uh, I... Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had to put your porridge in the oven to keep it hot. Oh. Did you get rid of the rubbish? Yes, yes, Mother, yes. Yes. Straight down the council tip, over the wall. <laughs> no problem at all. Are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. Why do you, what do you mean, am I sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, that's funny. Hmm? That's the tone of voice you use when you're fibbing. <laughs> fibbing? <laughs> me fibbing? <laughs> I haven't fibbed, Mother, since the day you bought me my first pair of long trousers. Well, that's a lie for a start. I didn't buy you your first pair of long trousers. I lengthened a pair of your father's shorts. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. Thank you. Should we open the window so the neighbours can hear? They know that old story. Oh, do they? Oh, good. I wonder if they're up to date on my bowels. I wonder if they are. <laughs> I wonder about that. I was thinking we ought to buy a flag stuff and run messages up it. Mother this day hopes that Timmy will this morning do his duty. Not listening. You're very full of yourself. For someone who's wasted a lot of time this morning with the rubbish, the strike's been called off. I heard it on the wireless. Oh, no. Oh, I've missed my Saturday morning lie-in. I was going to read last Sunday's papers. I was going to trim my eyebrows, as a matter of fact. Now, are we washing our hands? <laughs> Well, I can't speak for you, Mother, but uh, I can't reach the sink from here, I must be honest. It's... Saki. Mm -hmm. There. Porridge. <laughs> I, I can't eat this, Mother. It's gone stiff. <laughs> Today, 
dead. It's absolutely dead. Think he's got rigor mortis. Don't be so finicky. I'll cut it into soldiers. Soldiers, mother, you cut. You can't cut porridge into soldiers, mother. Oh, mum, why is your food always so tough? Don't exaggerate. Not exaggerating. Father broke a tooth on your custard. <laughs> you always say you like soldiers. Well, I used to like soldiers, Mother. I used to like Eggy Peggy on bread and buppy, too. <laughs> Don't be so childish. No, Mother. Oh, I give up. Mother, I tell you what, I'll have a, have a nice cup of coffee, if that's possible. Preferably not cut into soldiers. <laughs> oh, let's see who's won the premium bonds this week. Where are we? Oh, here we are. Oh, this week's winner lives in North Shields. Not for long. Ah. <laughs> All that money. Soon be winging his way to South Shields. <laughs> you haven't got time to read the paper. You've forgotten. Gavin's coming this morning. Gavin who? Your godson. You're supposed to be taking him to play football. Oh, no. Why me, Mother? Every weekend I don't have a weekend. I don't want to go watch schoolboys play five-a-side. Other people are out on the Solent in wetsuits. <laughs> Windsurfers doing it standing up. <laughs> Less of the smut, please, Timothy. Sorry, Mother. After all, Gavin is your godson, and you two have got a lot in common. Like what, Mother? Well, Gavin's being bullied at school, and who knows more about being bullied than you do? Yes, except in my case, it isn't at school. Timothy. Sorry, Mother, but it is true. Can you pass you the matches, Phyllis? Don't come in here in those boots. Oh, still on the mat, dear. <laughs> oh, there you are, Timothy. All plain sailing with the rubbish? <laughs> yes, thank you. No problem at all. Oh, pity. Mm, pity? You remember those green argyle socks of mine? Or sock, rather? <laughs> yes. Well, I had that odd sock sitting in my drawer for seven years. Well, this week I said to myself, out. I put it in the dustbin, blow me tight. There was the other one in the old peg basket. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody loses socks on my side of the family. You may as well throw it away now. Oh, certainly not. I've been caught out the same way twice. <laughs> <laughs> Pity, though, you could have brought the rubbish back, Timothy. Eh? Well, funny thing, looks like you were wasting your time this morning. I, I think the dustman strike is over. <laughs> if you're going to cough, go into the shed. <laughs> Thank you, Florence Nightingale. Language, Timothy. Sorry, Father. What's more, I think I knew the dustman come out the road, and now we've got nothing for them. <laughs> oh, go and play with your bonfire. Well, fair enough. <laughs> so... The dustmen have deigned to honour us with a collection. Well, I am going to give them a piece of my mind. I gave them a Christmas box, a very generous Christmas box, and we haven't seen hide nor hair of them for two months. Nor has anyone, Mother. Nor has any... They have been on strike. That is irrelevant. What is a Christmas box for except to secure personal attention? I'm going to put them properly in. No, there. Mother, please. Leave it to me. I was... You? Concerned. No, you're please, Mother. Just... After all, I... after all, I am the man of the house. No, you're not. Well, there is Father, but let's be realistic. Now, I, I will speak to them and... You will speak to them? You'll just be jumping up and down, slobbering over them like some puppy. Mother, if you speak to them, they'll never come back. <laughs> Timmy, I know how to deal with servants. Servants? Not servants, Mother. I mean, these dustmen don't kowtow to anyone. Since when have you seen a lot of dustmen touching their forelocks? <laughs> Timothy, don't be disgusting. <laughs> I am not being disgusting, Mother. What I'm saying is they don't have forelocks these days. Really? <laughs> times have changed, Mother. I will deal with the matter. Yes, well, just so long as you give them a thorough dressing down. You leave it to me, Mother. A proper wigging, mind. Consider them weak. <laughs> ah, there you are, my man. I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. I, I've taken just as much as I intend to take. You all right? <laughs> Sorry, yes, I'm all right. Yes, just going through the motions for mother. Hey, just pretend a bit of an argy bargy. You know. Anyway, welcome back. Nice to see you. <laughs> so, now, it's a bit of a long story. Only the rubbish is all in the car out front. I'd like you to clear it out for a minute. It's not locked. 
Just the five bags. Bags? No, I'm sorry, sir. I can't help you there. What? No, if, if I may clarify, we're back at work to clear the bins as per usual. Yes, yes, yes. No settlement has been reached as yet, vis a vis the enormous backlog, i.e., the huge piles of plastic bags everywhere. Mm. Now, well, suppose I put the plastic bags in the bins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a bag is a bag is a bag. And more than my job's worth to so much as touch a bag. Of course, if my job was made worth a bit more. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Say no more. <laughs> Not said, man of the world. Not as good as a wink or blind dog. <laughs> world of the wise. Uh, now, for this, sir. Uh, Make any difference? Not a lot. There's seven of us. Take a look. What divides by seven? Seven quid. <laughs> true. True. There we are. That's it. Now remember, the rubbish is all in the car. What's happening? What? Timothy, why is there a deathly silence out here? Silence? Silence? Hasn't been much of that. Hasn't been my man. Uh, no, sir. No, look, I'm sorry. I won't let it happen again. You're the governor after all. There we are. That's a good fellow. Now be on your way. Remember what I said. Right, Chief. Certainly, Squire. Excuse me, Mom. Got it hot and strong. Words of one syllable. Or more. Well, I think I'll just see him off the premises. I don't want him taking it out on the narcissi. But, Mother. Can I help you? Car alone. Mother, let them carry on. They know what they're doing. What are those bags of rubbish doing in the car? Have people been dumping rubbish here? Oh, yes, that's it. That's only what's happened. Somebody. This is disgraceful. I hold you men responsible. Look, lady, I'm just doing a favour here. I'm sorry, mate. We don't want any favours from you, thank you. Right, madam. Right. <laughs> this is our rubbish. That's Hughes's haddock. I thought I showed you to finish that up. But there's that bread and butter pudding. You said you'd got rid of all this rubbish. Well, I would have done if you hadn't kept interrupting. You told me you took it down to the dump. I did, I did, but I brought it back. So you were fibbing? Yes, I was fibbing. Those pink ones aren't ours. No, I, no, I was given them. Did you say we're taking in other people's rubbish? Well, it's your fault, Mother. I mean, you're such a bully. I mean, I did the best I could. I even paid them. Do you mean you bought that rubbish? Get into the house! Shh, the neighbor. You're a silly, irresponsible boy. Go into the house, go upstairs, and go straight to bed! <laughs> Uncle Tim? Oh, 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 Gavin. Oh, uh, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Thought it was Mother. <laughs> oh, dear. Just been having a, you know, a bit of a read. <laughs> Catching up on last Sunday's papers. Uh, oh, dear. I spilt the Smarties. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bit fluffy. Would you like one? <laughs> the trouble is they sort of melt in the hot water bottle. <laughs> He got sent to bed then. What? What? Me? What? Sent to bed? Well, Auntie P said she sent you to bed. <laughs> <laughs> sent to bed? <laughs> me? <laughs> oh dear, that is a laugh. <laughs> Girl, she's got delusions of grandeur. <laughs> no, I wanted a lion. I swung it. <laughs> Got myself sent to bed, you know. <laughs> Smart of the average bear, boo boo. <laughs> hey? <laughs> no, it's just, uh, you know, it's just, I was really knackered, you know. Ooh. Absolutely bushed. <laughs> so I just thought I'd crash the dirty Swede and. Uh, For what? <laughs> oh, anyway. Why don't you sit down? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, how are you then? All right? All right. Oh, good. 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 Excellent. <laughs> no, uh, no trouble, Stork? No. Oh, good. 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 Excellent. Oh, good. <laughs> Not of any kind? No. No. Good. 
Not even uh, the bullying kind. Oh, ah, <laughs> well. Ah, well, <laughs> I thought it. Got it in one, the old nose, you know. <laughs> sort of gut feeling I had just when you went, ah, well, I just could tell by that. Just... <laughs> Come on, then, tell me all about it. You use bubble gum. Uh, what for? You chew it. Oh, yes, I chew it. Yes, I do. Yes, you would chew it. Um, you... Oh, sorry, yes, indeed, I will join you in a bubble. <laughs> Uh. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> very good. Very good. Very good, that was, yes. So tell me, you're being bullied? Yeah, all the time. Uh, well, you mustn't worry. Happened to me, you know, as well. Oh, yes, yes, I used to be bullied. He used to put me on top of the door, and when Mr. Pot came in, I'd fall on his head. <laughs> Sounds like something out of the Beano. <laughs> <laughs> it's more sociological now. Is it? What do you, what, sorry, what do you mean, Isaac? <laughs> yes, now, yes. Well, in any society, mm -hmm. there will be misfits mm. who, who need to express their sense of inferiority mm -hmm. by beating everyone in. Yes, 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 I see. Yes, yes, so far, so yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Dougie Bulford mm -hmm. does it to me. Often? Whenever he can fit me in. <laughs> well, I mean, it's terrible, Gavin. I mean, this must stop. I do his compositions for him. Last week he got a lousy mark, and on Monday he's going to beat me in. What, just like that? That's what usually happens. Usually? I mean, Gavin, there comes a time in every man's life when he must stand up and be counted. It's all right for you. You could stand up and still not get counted. Now... <laughs> please. Please, now, please. Time and a place. Listen, tell me, have you spoken to your form master about this Bulford boy? My form master? Shagger Beasley? <laughs> he does Dougie's French for him. <laughs> well, perhaps I better speak to the boy, or, or even better, speak to his father. No, no, you don't speak to the Bulfords. Grow up, Uncle Tim. I am growing up. Don't keep saying that. I am growing up. I am grown up. I am grown up. I will speak to Bulford Senior, man to man. Well, I don't want to be rude, only. No, come on, come on, what are you going to say? Come on, please, come out with it. What are you going to say? Well, I, I don't think a fellow that gets sent to bed by his mother is going to make much of a dent on Dougie Bulford's old man. <laughs> sent to bed by his mother? <laughs> Even if I was, it'd be the first and last time. Now, tell me, where do, where, where do the Bulfords live? Eh? Well, if you've made up your mind, actually, I'm playing football with Dougie down the sports centre, and his dad does weight training at the same time. Right, that is it. We go down to the sports centre for a quiet, reasonable word with Bulford Senior. That is obviously the... <laughs> Mother, don't you knock? I mean, I mean, this is, after all, a man's room. <laughs> I could have been undressed. Don't be silly. I've powdered your little things lots of times. <laughs> now, I want that rubbish moved. Mother, Gavin and I have very important business. Nonsense. What? You walked away and you left those five sacks in the drive. Now there are 13. Somebody's left eight more. What? You leave sacks anywhere, people think it's a dump. They've got to be moved. Oh, Mother, why me? Why always... Mo mother, here is a list of the times you have let me do what I wanted to do, uninterrupted. <laughs> it's blank. <laughs> All right, Mother, I... Don't laugh, Gavin, please, when you're told. Now, look, Mother, I will remove the rubbish, but first we must go down with Gavin to the... And move the rubbish. And move the rubbish. And take your father and I to the high street. And give you a lift. Yes. Timmy, I wish you wouldn't shout. Why not, Mother? Why don't you want me to shout? Because you've been scoffing smarties and your tongue's the wrong colour. <laughs> Whatever will the neighbours think? After all the care and attention you've had, you've grown up into the sort of person that can't even dispose of 13 bags of rubbish. <laughs> the tip was closed, Mother. Anywhere you leave a sack becomes a dump. I refuse to be antisocial. They're all in the logical place. Everyone will think we're mad. <laughs> Can't you drive any faster? There's a lot of rubbish on the roof. <laughs> Plus what's inside. <laughs> the careful of the corner, the road's up. All oh, right, certainly, Mother. Why don't I leave the wheel? You lean over and you can steer. Sarcasm, Timothy. Sorry, Mother. Sorry. 
car pulled right in front of you. Drive alongside him at the corner. Excuse me. Have you passed your driving test? Say that again. Steady on, Phyllis, for God's sake. I said, have you passed your driving test? Who are you? Never mind who I am. It's Dougie Balford. I'm his dad. What <laughs> is it? You are a road hog. I'm not impressed by any I also notice that it needs a good clean. <laughs> Get moving. Timothy, I haven't finished speaking to the man. And three fingers to you, too. My God, they're after us. Trust oh, no. it, Timothy. I'm trying, I'm trying. Don't take the handbrake off. That makes no difference. Turn left, turn father. No left. Hold on, everyone. All over me motor. Sacks of it right in the middle of the road. Bloody hooligans if I got my hands on the mind. Excuse me. What? Now, uh, you don't know me. Uh, but you don't know me, do you? No. Oh, good. Might I buy you a cup of tea? We're just going down the gym, aren't we? Well, if I could have a word in your shell like here, a uh, cauliflower like. Uh, sorry, that was. A little, uh, I shouldn't have. Um, only it is um, business. Business, eh? What? All right, I'll see you, Bill. All right. See you, Bill. <laughs> so, what's all this about? Might we, uh, step in? You in the scrap metal game, are you? No. I do collect milk bottle tops. To replace the lead on the church roof. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 two teas, please. Uh, Come up here for it. <laughs> oh, I know, perhaps not. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you're not a copper, are you? Copper? <laughs> Funny, that's been said before. <laughs> no, I am. I'm here, um, in my capacity, um, in the capacity of. Um, a godfather. A godfather? I mean, not the godfather. <laughs> you know, a godfather, not the godfather. Well, I suppose I could be godfather part one. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm going to make you an offer you can refuse, you know, if you want to. I mean, uh... What are you talking about? Well, uh, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Um, your son, your son, <laughs> Douglas. Oh, Dougie. Dougie, Dougie, yes. Well, Dougie. Yes, well, Dougie is at school with my godson, Gavin. Gavin. <laughs> so? Well, very good friends, actually, getting on very well. Very, very well indeed. I'm very, you know, they're really, really, very, very close. Very, very close, Dougie and Gavin. Um, the only thing is, there is... Yeah, just a minute. Yes, yes. Your Gavin hasn't been having a go at my Dougie, has he? No, no, no. It's a matter of fact, the boot is on the other foot. <laughs> Or the boot is in the other ear, as it were. <laughs> uh, just listen there. Now, look, yeah. Dougie yeah. Yes. is a very highly strung, sensitive boy. Mm -hmm. oh, he writes a lovely composition. Mm -hmm. So let's hear no more about the boot. Absolutely. Absolutely. No more about the boot. No, absolutely. Um, the only thing is, um, I am told that his self-defence does occasionally lean, just, you know, <laughs> you know lean towards attack. <laughs> No. Yes. Dougie can be violent. Mm. I grant you that. Mm -hmm. But never unintentionally. Oh, good. I am pleased. Good. No, you see, what I've done, what I've yes. done is taught him all the martial arts. Yes. Here, I'll oh, show oh, you. Oh, sorry. No, no. Yes, no. yes. Say, say he was coming at me. Yes, right. I am not, of no. course. And I wouldn't. I know, I know you wouldn't. Oh, no, I wouldn't. But say he was just yes, coming at me. Yes, now, yes. Now, what I've taught Dougie to do yes, is yes. to take the risk. Oh, I see. Uh, yes, yes. And, uh, right. yeah. Oh, oh, see? Yes, something's cracking just at the top here. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're powerless. Yes, yes. You know, I showed his headmaster this. Mm -hmm. He saw my point, and Dougie's been doing much better ever since. Uh, my head's going to sleep, could you mind? Well, that's the pressure. Oh, you see, yes. the pressure here. Timothy, leave that man alone. It's that dreadful man. It's that old crow. Do you mind just speaking of my mother? 
Mother? Is that your mother? No, not my mother. A mother. Any mother. <laughs> Any stray mother in a car. <laughs> Timothy, don't talk to that dreadful man. Yeah, just a minute. It was you driving that car. The Morris Minor? No, that wasn't me. That... <laughs> is it hygienic to be dressed like that in a refreshment room? You old trout. Now look here. You keep out of this. Fair enough. <laughs> Now look, why don't we all behave like civilised human beings? You half pint of pop water. Now look, name calling is not going to help. As a matter of fact, I've got something to say to you. Yeah? I'm very sorry. No, you're not. As I am, mother. We did insult this gentleman. He's no gentleman. Look, you can shove off your dreary old windbag. Oh, Timothy, did you hear what he called me? Yes, I did, and I must admit... Well? <laughs> there is an element of truth in it. About the windbag. Oh, you're in rich, Timothy. Sorry, Father. I think I shall have some tea. Why don't we all have a nice cup of tea? You're now, right, Uncle. Because you I... shove off some tea. Look, listen, I must ask you not to shove Gabby like that. Oh, you must, must you? Now, do you want to make something of it? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I think it is time, if I may say so, you were taught a lesson. Right, here we go. Right. You, you don't have to, not for me. Don't you worry. We'll go outside. Yes. Too much blood wouldn't be hygienic. <laughs> don't worry. You can tell him on TV. Been crowded round here. Let's get round the corner. Hold on a minute. That's a friend of mine you got there. Twenty nine Ravenscroft. Hello, sir. Hello. Out of it, you. I beg your pardon. Out of it. You referring to me? One hundred and fifteen Sebastopol Rise, isn't it? <laughs> what a small world, eh? Not you. Buzz off. I'm just going to knock seven kind of droppings out of this little bit of offal. <laughs> No, no, is this the kind of thing that goes on at sports centres? What is all this? If it's any business of yours, his mother's a right interfering old boiler. He's got a point there, you know. <laughs> and he's been bugging rubbish at my motor. That was a mistake. Your son has been bullying my godson. Now, that's not nice. No. What is all this? Look. If you keep on putting your oar in, you're going to get what he's going to get. All right, that's it. Put him up. Come yeah, on. Uh, uh, hold on, 29. We don't want you smearing up that wall by this person, do we? Don't we? No. And I'll tell you for why. Because me and the lads owe 29 Ravenscroft a favour. Seven quids worth, as a matter of fact. So if you lay a finger on him, or me, or your lad so much as frowns at his godson, your bins ain't going to get emptied till the year 2001. <laughs> Yeah, look, no need to be hasty. Shut up. What's going on? Who's going on? Who's going on? Dougie, you've been a naughty boy. <laughs> you've been rude to the dustman. <laughs> now, let's get out of here, eh? I reckon that's uh, ten quid's worth of moral support, don't you? What? Oh. <laughs> See what you mean? There you are. Uncle Tim, you're all right. Well, of course I'm all right, huh? <laughs> Saw them off. <laughs> Be no more trouble from them. I think you're fantastic. No, no. I just muddle through. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, perhaps I am virgin and fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> what have I always told you about playing among dustbins? Playing? He wasn't playing. You, play. you must understand, women never. Yeah, those dreadful dustmen. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. No, you don't. Why not? But I don't think that a lady as lovely as yourself should be concerned with such sordid things. Language, Timothy. Shut up, Sydney. Mm. Don't you? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> la, la. <laughs> Great, Uncle Tim. You stood up and you accounted. Uh, you then sorted out the Borfords <laughs> and got rid of 12 bags of rubbish. Oh, I thought it was 13. No, we put 12 on top of the car. Did we? Quite right, Gabby. Oh, it doesn't matter. Probably left it in the drive. Right where everyone could see it. <laughs> My God! 